students of Reddit, what was your school's big scandal? There was a white kid who had a black baby mannequin to take care of for a week for some project to see if he would be a responsible parent. He hung the baby on a tree outside of the school, expelled and made news on the local paper. Beside that not much. My high school did a block lunch, where everyone ate lunch at the same time instead of separating them into A, B, C lunches. Because our cafeteria couldn't fit the entire student body, it was normal for kids to be eating in the hallway, on the floor, or at tables all throughout the school. One day during lunch, unbeknownst to the staff and student body, our app decided to hold a lockdown drill. He got on the intercom and told everyone there was an active shooter in the cafeteria in order to see how kids would react had it been a real shooting. Turned into pure anarchy. Kids calling 911, running out of school, and not returning to class after the drill was over. Kids having anxiety attacks while hiding in classrooms. Dying pulls from students to parents. It was pretty bad. Should I mention how this was several days after the Parkland shooting? Edit. Grandma. My history teacher blackmailed the girls who weren't doing so good on his class. He exchanged good grades for nudes. Had a few. High school math teacher got a DUI on a tractor and was fired. Pay and CS teacher had an affair, while both were married to other people. They eventually both divorced and ended up marrying each other. Accounting teacher married a student about a week after she graduated. Rumor was that they were already sleeping together when she was 16, and she was pregnant before graduation as well by the teacher. A couple bomb threats. At the end of my senior year, we had bomb threats about 2-3 to three times a week. One of them was written in lipstick on the mirror of one of the girls' bathrooms. It said, Bomb Manana. It was so ridiculous. Shit like this had us standing out in a grass field for hours, while the police checked the building. Edit. This was in Florida. We probably didn't go to the same school. It'd be surprised if anyone from that podunk as school was on Reddit. The summer after I graduated, the principal was caught propositioning underage teenage male prostitutes. Turns out my geography teacher was a pedophile with several thousand accounts of child pornography on their computer. A bunch of seniors were having a graduation party in the woods. One of them passed out drunk, rolled into a 6 inch deep culvert and drowned. They didn't notice he died until morning. Edit. From the comments. Freaking hell. Just how common is this sort of thing? A string of deaths three years in a row was finally broken when some guy jumped out a two-story building but lived. Teacher sent nudes to a kid because the kid pretended to be a different person on a dating website. Teacher left. Kid was expelled. It was in 2007, but my high school had a string of bomb threats. There was a bathroom where no cameras could see who went in or out, and someone wrote in Sharpie across one of the stall doors, there's a bomb in the school with that day's date. The school was evacuated, and we all went home. For the next few months, there was a bomb threat seemingly every Friday. We'd be in the middle of the first or second period, then we'd all go home. After we missed enough days, we all had to come in on several Saturdays, and the bomb threats stopped. This actually came out during my last semester there, but it had been happening for years. One of the English teachers had been having sex with a few select students every year. Most were football players. It got really weird. When I had her class it wouldn't be out of place if a student from another class asked to go to the bathroom and just went to her room to see her. One day some kid brought her a drink from McDonald's because he was late to school and got breakfast. It only came out because there was this one girl who was in an argument with her for some reason and said something along the lines of, that's why you frick your students. And the whole incident got brought up to the office and they interviewed everyone. Found out she'd had sex with multiple students for the past few years. Edit. I've been getting a lot of comments asking if this was in. All I'll say is that it was in Georgia. Some kids didn't want to take a state mandated test, so they lit fireworks off in the bathroom. But they didn't realize how quickly they would explode and all three of them got burnt. The whole school had to stand outside for hours. We had a senior, male student in my high school who knocked up a freshman and the Spanish teacher within like a week of each other. 
in high school the female dance teacher had a sexual relationship with a 15 year old female student. The dance teacher and her husband had a threesome with said student and videotaped it. The husband also got it at two of the 15 year old girl's initials. Pretty fricked up shoot. Not my school, but the small town high school, where my kids now attend. Married female office admin sixes up a female student. Goes to jail for a few years. Ten years later husbands of both women find out they have secret cell phones, and have been carrying on a relationship off, and on since the older one got out of prison. I've posted it before, but having a hard time finding it. Anyways an English teacher slapped a kid in class, and retired that week. A girl got pregnant, and told everyone the father was our English teacher. Turns out, no, no one even knows who the father is, her included. The biology teacher was having an affair with the principal. A 16 year old sending nudes to a 12 year old in a Baptist school. Teacher sucked a kid's deck during my senior year, he showed a few people the video, then he proceeded to move to California. She still works there to this day. Girl attempted suicide and the girl's bathroom guy got caught having sex with a teammate in the locker room after practice three girls caught snorting cocaine in the bathroom someone was boinking a teacher, but we never found out who. Teacher resigned. Someone put red hots in the hand dryer in the boys bathroom and it caught fire four years of school, three fire alarm pulls. Growing up in a 3k population town in the middle of freaking nowhere was crazy as hell sometimes. These events were over my 4 years of high school. Edit. 3 fire alarms due to actual fires. Sorry for not clarifying. 2 years ago, a senior brought in a 6 doll for Secret Santa. He then brought it to the senior room and essentially had a fake gangbang with it with 20 other people. When I was in primary school, 9 yo, a kid from first grade caught my teacher and the principal doing it in his office. My sophomore year of high school the gym teacher's brother gets hired as the computer teacher. Nice guy, was personable, not as much as his brother but still. Two thirds through the year he just vanishes and most of the teachers don't want to talk about it. Eventually it gets out that when he was in college, the computer teacher got into a barroom brawl. During the brawl he took a pool ball, put it inside of a sock, swung it and smashed a guy in the head with it. The guy who get it had permanent brain damage. The school found out midway through the year and that is why they let him go. Couple things happened at my school. One of the pet teachers basically sexually assaulted a lot of girls while teaching gymnastics. We also had like 10 people from the same grade, picked up by police, because they were selling drugs in school and I mean like a lot of drugs was during my sophomore year, a male super senior was having sex with a female freshman in the women's restroom. In my senior year, one of the popular football players was killed while he was driving drunk. It was obviously big news on campus and just a few days after, the school had this giant memorial on our football field dedicated to talking about how great of a guy he was and how hell be daily missed. He also got like 5 consecutive pages in our yearbook dedicated to him. But not long before his death, a less popular band student had committed suicide and his death didn't receive nearly as much coverage. He didn't get a giant memorial and he didn't get mentioned in our yearbook. One girl made this giant rant about this double standard on Facebook, and it went viral around our campus. Our school was split. Some people praised her for pointing it out, others were pissed, and said that what she did was inappropriate. Even one of my English teachers defended the football player. She said that his was death was a tragic accident, whereas the band student chose to die, and that there's a big difference. This girl went on to leave the school, because she was getting death threats from friends of the football player and our entire campus was completely divided over this whole incident. We currently have a lawsuit against our district. The nurses are claiming harassment against an intermediate principal, and the district refused to step in. Apparently the nurses caught him having an affair, and told his wife. He pinned one against a wall, and demanded to see her phone. Not that juicy, but the basketball coach slash gym slash sex ed teacher was a teacher who clearly hated working with wee little shoots like us, so some of us did some investigating how he came to be our thighs. 
ed teacher. Turns out he had been a basketball coach for one of the top university teams in the country just 5 blocks away from our school, but he violated ethics codes by playing players who were academically unable to play and had evidence of him talking to professors about their grades. Got sacked and our high school basketball scholarship slash private type jumped at the opportunity to pick up a coach bang from university leagues. Of course he'd have to run gym class and teach 13 year olds about their changing bodies as well. Guy really lucked out. It Chemical E student in our engineering school was making high quality meth to pay for his schooling. Got caught his senior year right before graduation. I guess the biggest scandal was when a teacher tried to kill herself and failed. A kid was trying to get initiated into the bloods. Part of this is committing a serious act of violence, so he brought a Glock to school and tried to kill the school resource officer. Principal tackled him the second he saw him pull out the pistol. Everybody hated the principal until that day, we were on CNN that night. On the lighter side the vice principal wrecked his car one night coming back from a school football game. Somehow he had managed to hit a dead cow on the side of the road. For the rest of the year he got subjected to random moves when he walked down the halls. I'm out of school now, but in high school it was discovered that a student had attempted to print the statistics exam to study before the test. This was found out in the morning when the teachers went into the math office put more paper in the printer and out came the exam that the stats teacher did not print. Now, cheating at my high school was punishable by expulsion, so the teachers all flipped out. This was full exams, so we had a whole year of school assemblies where we all got talked to. I was a sophomore at the time and only seniors took stats, but they were basically trying to get anyone who knew something to talk. No one ever said a word. No one guy got in trouble. Nothing. We even talked about it after the seniors graduated and no one knew anything. So either someone is amazing at keeping secrets or the stats teach printed it by accident and didn't realize and found in the morning because the printer ran out of paper. So on the day ahead of a huge event that was going to happen in the auditorium of our school, someone pissed on the audio equipment in the auditorium of our school and it ended up not working anymore. The principal announced that anyone who was a witness, and who could tell them who culprit is, would receive 500 euros from the school. Turns out it was someone from our neighboring class, and probably 8 to 10 guys from that class, went into the principal's office to rat him out, and receive the money. Just that the majority of them who went there were just claiming to have witnessed it to receive money as well. The guy got expelled from school, and had to pay for new audio equipment which was probably at least around 3000, 4000 year. Though idk whether everyone who ratted him out ended up receiving the 500 euros or not. Well there are a bunch of kids who smoke and vape in the bathrooms, but last year the physics teacher had a huge thing for underage girls, 